What sold? Day 151. The first sale of the day is this Alfred Shaheen Rain Spooner Hawaiian shirt in a men's large. This sold in two days for full price, $20 plus shipping. This one does have a hole on the front of it and I did mark it, or I did point it out and I also uh, reduced the price on it. That's why I only listed it at 20 bucks. Normally this would be a 30 or $35 that I would list it at. The Alfred Shaheen Rain Spooners usually have a little bit more value. I'll go ahead and show you guys the tag right here. Um, like I said, those ones are usually uh, more on the valuable side of the collaborations. But if you find any vintage Alfred Shaheen Hawaiian shirts that aren't collaborations with Rain Spooner, those can be worth a, a ton of money. I think I sold one of the long sleeve ones earlier this year for around 200 bucks. So those are definitely a good thing to keep a, uh, an eye out for. They're, they are pretty rare, but if you do find them, they're worth a ton of money. I think this might actually be the second time that this item sold. I'm pretty sure it got returned along with another Rain Spooner. Buyer bought two of them. Uh, I can't. I think they just didn't fit, so they sent them back, and no big deal. Relisted them. I think I only sold it for fifteen dollars the first time, so selling it for twenty dollars this time recoup some of those shipping costs that I had to pay uh, for when the buyer returned it, because I do offer free returns. So number two is this Lulu Lemon sweatshirt in a men's large. It's just a pretty basic like cotton blend hoodie. It sold in two days for a best offer of twenty four dollars plus shipping. It did have some wear on the collar, that's why I priced it down quite a bit. Uh, the Lululemon men's sweatshirts are actually really good sellers, but like I said, this one did have some wear. I picked it up cheap, so I still made a decent profit on it, and it sold really quickly. So number three, an item that didn't sell very quickly was this Adidas Notre Dame button-up in a men's large. This one was embroidered with the logo, but it also said track and field on it, which probably is what made it sit around so long, because even though it was new with tags, it does make it a lot more niche being embroidered with track and field. If this just had a Notre Dame embroidery, it probably would have sold a lot quicker and for more money. But this sold in about a year and a half for the full sale price of $18.71 plus shipping. was on my 25% off sale. Uh, I probably relisted it at some point. That's why it isn't at the 50% off. Because uh, normally items listed over one year do hit the 50% off sale. So like I said, I probably relisted this and it's been listed for like four to six months. So number four, this is a youth North Face jacket in a size small. It took 14 days to sell and it sold for a best offer of $10 plus shipping. I think it might have had a flower or two on it as well. This did come from the North Face jacket buyout. I bought these for about seven or eight bucks each. So this one's about break even, but there's a lot more of those that sold really quickly and I made a good profit on. So overall, it was still a very good buy. So number five is this Pendleton Mason flannel shirt in a men's medium. This one was also new with tags, but it was not a wool flannel. This is a cotton flannel by Pendleton. These are not usually the ones that you want to pick up, but this was new with tags, and I bought it from one of my flea market vendors that I do a lot of business with. So I try to buy as many items from them as I can that are going to turn me a decent profit. They don't always have to get rich on all those items since it is a bulk buy. But this one sold in 20 days for full price, $30 plus shipping. I want to say they sold this at Costco, and that's definitely what drove down the value. Um, like I said, even the, the cotton ones don't usually sell that well, maybe around 20 bucks or so. And this one was new with tags, so this sold for about where I think it should sell. But like I said, this is very oversaturated because I think it was sold at Costco. So just be aware that if you price it inaccurately, this can sit around for a while. So number six, something that I've been picking up quite a bit is these luxury car brands and almost anything by them, whether it's like this, a vest, a jacket, a polo shirt, but this was a Rolls Royce one. Uh, I didn't know at the time, but it was in the men's section, but it ended up being a women's, so it definitely took away some of the value. I think if this was a men's one, it could have sold for honestly up to twice as much, but uh, still sold pretty quickly. It took two months to sell and it sold for a best offer of $20 plus shipping. It also had an embroidery on the bottom here that was more specific. It did say Orange County on it, which also decreased the value. But I picked this up for 10 bucks or less, I think. So still making a decent profit on it. And it sold relatively quickly. Two months isn't too long. So number seven is this Mamu uh, women's hoodie in a size small. And this, I thought this brand was better than this. And it might be in the men's. But this one sat around for about a year and it sold for a best offer of $10 plus shipping. So I'll, do, I'll have to do some more research on this brand, Mamu. Let me go ahead and show you guys the tag. I know there's definitely some items from them that sell well. It might just be the men's bigger jackets. But do your research on this brand before picking it up because not all their stuff sells that well. Another brand where all their stuff doesn't sell uh, that well is the Johnny O. So they do, they do definitely have some items that have... 
uh, good demand and good price. I think a lot of their button basic button-up shirts just don't have the demand anymore. They might just be a little too oversaturated. This is just a long sleeve button down by them in a men's medium. It took about five months to sell and it sold for the full sale price of $14.96 plus shipping. I think from my three month to six month period, if it's been listed that long, then it hits the 25% off sale. So that's what this one did. Got it sold and like I said, uh, only pick these up if you're gonna pick them up at a very low cost and you can afford to price them down lower to make them move a little bit quicker. So number nine is this Youth Patagonia jacket in a size medium. This is a full zip and it sold in eight days for a best offer of $25 plus shipping. Almost every Patagonia jacket has a good amount of value and I pick up almost all of them. Even ones like this and just a youth size sell quickly and for a great amount of money. Another great sale, a Patagonia jacket. Uh, this is a Snap Tee in a women's XL. It sold in six days for full price $40 plus shipping. And this is just another great sale. I'm sure you guys already know if you find a Patagonia jacket, pick it up. But these are good items to pay up for. I know a lot of people don't like paying up for items, but I think by not paying up for items, you're leaving a lot of profit on the table. Um, I would be totally fine paying $20 for this jacket, selling it for $40. After fees and shipping, I'll probably make around $15 profit, and it's sold in six days. So yes, you do have to pay up, it is a little bit more risky, but just by becoming uh, more of an expert in your category, then you have the ability to pay up for items knowing about how much they sell for. And if you don't know, you know, off the top of your head or have experience selling them, that's the great thing about eBay. You can look up exact comps and uh, know for sure uh, how much, uh, or at least around how much they sell for, how long it takes them to sell, and then be able to pay up. It's going to give you a lot more opportunities to source great items like this. So number 11 is this pair of vintage 560 Levi's in a men's 31 by 27. So these were from 2001. They sold in five days for full price, $20 plus shipping. I think this is a decent cut by Levi. It has like the wider leg, the wider taper leg. But this one had a very short inseam of just 27 inches. It was probably hemmed, and that's the whole reason that I priced it so low. I would normally price this if this was a 30 inch inseam or longer, probably at least $10 more, if not even a little bit more than that. But a lot of these Levi's, if you get them with short inseams, they will sit around a long time. And I don't like my own to sit around a long time, so I'm willing to price them a bit lower and get them moving quickly. That's it for the sales today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to see you tomorrow for day 152 of the What Sold series. Peace.